quick video for reference this is a recall tata v it has been discontinued so if you're bringing in videos i came across this problem and i have forgotten how to do this but if you're doing video with this you need to stitch the two videos or the front lens and the back lens together in order to work with it in the video editor program so let me show what that looks like now and what i have to do to get it working on the pc you can do it on the app if you get long videos like i do you're going to want to do it on the pc so you're going to have to install the tata v app which i was still able to find well that's a good thing i want to switch over and i'll show you what it looks like so you're going to have to download the recall tata v app and the way you do that is you're going to visit support tata 360.com download for pc or mac so i have pc and you're going to do this one right here for windows so if you got mac you're going to do this one now it's going to take a little bit to download because it's a lot but once you do it you're going to launch it and i'll show you what exactly what it looks like so so there it is and you'll be able to drag and drop your video right in there and i'll show you how the videos look like so the video is side by side like this and when you're finished converting it depending on the size of your video then it's going to look like that which is what you want in order to be able to process it now if you play it let me just play it so this is what it looks like without the processing do a little video of it Okay. With the 360 camera. All right, so that's what it looks like without processing. So you're definitely going to need to process the video. Um, this is what it looks like after it's being processed. It now it's been put together. Now you can go back and edit it, or you can upload it this way, and it'll be able to be read by YouTube or Facebook as a 360 video oh, okay. there. So there you go. That's how you're going to do it. You're going to bring it into the app, and you're going to process it. I can show you how that's done. Okay, here's a quick five second one. And then you're just gonna drag and drop it into, and it's gonna process it. It's gonna ask you to, if you want blur correction, so it'll do that for you. You can also reduce the resolution, but I usually leave it uh, the way it should be. And then you're gonna start the process. And this is what it looks like, it's preparing for a conversion. And this one's a quick five second video, so it's gonna convert really, really fast and then it'll come out as a stitched video that now you can upload or you can continue to edit on your video editing programs depending on what you use uh, so it worked and i just wanted to make this a sub reference video so if you have the camera and you're tr struggling to figure out how to bring those two spherical images together mm -hmm. this is how you're going to do it so it's going to take a little bit of time to process it but uh, Five seconds is not that bad and it opens up the footage right away. See? And then you can you can view it as a fully stitched program. See? <laughs> Alright, there you go. Hope you found that useful. So when your video is in with the two circles here here is what it's named the original video and the process video is going to be the same but dash st so that's what you're going to look for and that's going to be your video that's been stitched together into a 360 video right there that's it